today I'm in a bit of a different setup from my usual because I want to take you through the first stage of the web design process which is wireframing. The purpose of wireframing is to work in a really minimal way to start organizing the information and figuring out the flow of a page before you start worrying about things like the fonts and the colors and making everything pixel perfect. With wireframing you allow yourself to work really quickly and generate lots of ideas and my web design skills have definitely improved a lot since I started following a proper wireframing process so today I want to teach you how I do it. I always start my wireframing using just a pen and a piece of paper. You could start on the computer and a lot of people do doing just like grey boxes and using the default font Want. but the second you find yourself trying to like align things properly or get a box to be the exact right size that's when you're focused on those little details and you lose the flow and you're not just generating quick ideas so sticking with just a pen and paper I can let myself be really messy and get my ideas out before you start you need to know what content is going on the page you're designing I can't stress that enough your job is to design the information so you need to know what information is going on the page that you need to get across before you can start designing. That doesn't mean that you have to have the exact copy finalized, you just need to have a rough idea of what information is going on the page, what it's about and how much of it there is. Now for this video I'm going to use the example of a blog design because I want to redesign the home page of my blog. So I know that on it I'm going to have a header, bio info, a footer, photos and titles for each post, maybe a blurb to go along with that, maybe not social media links, a search bar and a newsletter sign up and I think also a popular post section. I like to write a list like this to start with just so I have a reminder of what's going on my page out in front of me and I'm not forgetting anything. If I'm working on a marketing design site then I'll generally have a Google Doc open on my computer next to me with the rough copy on it from the copywriter. To start generating ideas I use a technique that an old workmate taught me which he called crazy eights where you fold a piece of paper into eight different sections and then do eight different ideas for a wireframe as quickly as possible. You can draw as big or as small as you want, whatever works best for you. Sometimes I might do four on this side and then four on this side if it's a particularly long page. This works as like a warm-up technique for your brain and I always find it fascinating because I start off thinking there is just one obvious way that I want to arrange everything but when you're forcing yourself to think of more and more concepts you'll be surprised at all the ideas you had just hiding in your mind. And you shouldn't limit yourself to just eight as well. If you get going and find that you've got more and more ideas coming keep drawing and get them all out. As you can see when I'm drawing I'm really messy and that doesn't matter one bit. Drawing nicely is not to the point. The more you do this the more you'll sort of develop a little key for yourself like for me a straight line like this one here means a headline and then squiggly ones mean body copy a box with a cross through it means a picture and little circles mean icons it really doesn't matter if it looks like a child drew it to anyone else the point is that you've got your ideas out you know what it means and you've got a place to get started with your design. After this phase I will look at my eight concepts and put a little star next to the bits that I think might be worth exploring more. Sometimes I will then go and draw a new mock-up of all those bits together but generally I'll move on to the computer at this point mostly because I find it hard to draw neatly and I know that after this stage I'm going to want to show someone and get feedback on my design so they're going to have to be able to understand it as well. I like to use a program called Sketch to mock up my wireframes. I have done a whole video actually about what design software I use for what purpose so I'll link to that down below. Even though I have some idea now of how I want to arrange the information on my page when I move on to the computer to lay it out I'm still just going to use plain grey boxes and the default text and the reason for this is because I don't want the person who is critiquing this wireframe to think about anything other than the structure of the site. Using colours or proper icons or anything that remotely looks like it could be part of a finished visual design is just going to confuse everything. I don't just make one wireframe in sketch, I'll make as many as I feel I have ideas for after combing through my favourite parts of the sketching process. After that it's a good idea to sleep on it at this point and come back to it the next day before you share for feedback or before you start on the visuals if it's a personal project. That way you're going to be able to come back to it with a fresh mind and a fresh perspective before you move on to the next stage. So that is my wireframe process and that is how all of my web design projects start. Let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions for me on it and please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I'm absolutely loving making design videos like this at the moment so if you like them as well and you haven't already please hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!